Hi everyone! So today I decided to do the Valentine's Day tag and I recently just saw it on Talia's vlog and if you guys don't know who Talia is, uh, basically she is a beauty guru and she actually is fighting cancer and she's had a lot of stuff on Ellen DeGeneres. She even became a cover girl, uh, what is it called, when you're an honorary cover girl and I absolutely adore this girl her energy her strive in life everything about her is like what everybody else should be thankful and happy about life she is absolutely a beautiful person on the inside and out and she just brings me so much joy so I decided to do the Valentine's Day tag and if you guys have been wondering where the heck has Gianna been uh, that is because we just moved into a brand new condo and I have been so busy trying to get this place like suitable to even live in so finally I just bought those pillows back there can you see them they're so cute right I absolutely love them and if you're wondering why I keep like moving around that's because you guys are on my phone can you see it I've never done this before I'm absolutely on my phone right now so let's start off this tag I'm just gonna pull my computer up so I can have the questions here. So the first question is, which is your favorite Valentine's Day treat? Sweethearts or chocolate covered strawberries? I would have to say chocolate covered strawberries. Everybody knows chocolate is a girl's best friend and that is my best friend and you're feeling healthy because you're eating strawberries too. So get one or the other, put them both together and you have a little miracle. <laughs> I hope I get chocolate covered strawberries, fingers crossed. Okay, so what is your favorite Valentine's Day memory? Okay, so my absolute favorite Valentine's memory was four years ago. Um, basically, that's when Lance and I first started dating. No, it was five years ago. We are on our fifth anniversary. We're going into six in October. But basically... Um, it was the first Valentine's Day we ever had together, and he worked for this guy named Oscar, and he was up, like, super early, had to be at work at 7, and then he had to come back home, and basically, he would be worn out because he did flooring, and basically, he told me that he wasn't going to be able to see me until nighttime. And being our first Valentine's Day, you know how obsessed you are with your, um, basically my crush at the time. Like, he was my best friend, and we ended up, like, just being friends for an entire year. And then he asked my mom if he could date me, and, um, so cute. He was so cute. And then he basically asked me if I would be his girlfriend and that sort of thing. And long story short, I was just completely obsessed with him, and I was so sad I wasn't going to be able to see him. So, Valentine's Day morning, like 5 o'clock, I'm like sleeping, and all of a sudden I see him. He's in my room, like totally creeping on me, and he he's like, would you be my Valentine's? And I'm like, it's 5 o'clock in the morning. He's like, look, I brought you roses and fudge, four different fudges from Killwinds. And I'm such a junk food junkie. So bad about fudge. And basically, he like completely made my entire day. Like, I thought I was going to be so sad all day long. And come to find out, he surprised me in the morning. And I couldn't stop smiling all day long. Everybody was getting all these presents at school. And I was just like, yeah, I already got mine at 5 o'clock this morning. He was so romantic. So that was one of my favorite Valentine's Day memories. Um, the next question is, do you have a... Oh, wait. Number three, what celebrity would you not mind having as your Valentine's? Oh, easy. I'm um, completely obsessed with Justin Timberlake, and he's been MIA for a long time, and now he came out with a brand new song. It's called Suit and Tie, and I'm completely in love with it. I'll put a link down below to maybe the music video. I don't even know if they have that out yet. If not, I'll just put the Vivo link or whatever, however you say that 
thing that does all the music here on YouTube. I'll put a link down below to that. Um, let's see. Do you have a special someone to celebrate Valentine's Day? Yes, I do. It is Lance Kramer. And, um, basically we've been dating for five years. And hopefully we'll be able to see each other this Valentine's Day. Because he works in the morning and will leave before I even, um will even be up or anything. And then when I come home, I actually have class until 8 at night. So I don't know what we're doing or any of that stuff. I'm really sad about it, but we'll end up doing something special. I'm actually thinking, fingers crossed, hopefully he doesn't see this video yet. Um, I'm thinking about putting like balloons up and like just decorating like the house completely Valentine's Day-esque. And hopefully, he'll be completely surprised and shocked and all that fun stuff. Oh, I'm really excited for Valentine's Day. <laughs> I'm such a romantic. Oh, goodness. Okay, so which restaurant would you prefer for a Valentine's, Valentine's Day date, if I can get that out? Cheesecake Factory or Ruby's? I have no idea what Ruby's is. So definitely Cheesecake Factory. And Lance is completely obsessed with cheesecake, so that's perfect. Um, okay, red or pink lips on Valentine's Day? Obviously pink. <laughs> okay, dress or cute top to wear on your Valentine's Day date? Let me show you the dress I have picked out. I'll just bring you over the sleigh. You'll excuse my mess. Hold on. I'm going to show you what dress I have planned to wear. Okay. So I was thinking about this one right here. I got it from BB, and I'm completely obsessed with it. It's like um, a stretchy material, and if you can see on the top, it's kind of lacy. So it's still like, sh like it's definitely form-fitting and also like really pretty and cute and simple. And I was thinking about pairing it with some black heels and also some black, like, sparkly jewelry. So that's what I have planned for Valentine's Day. So, <clears throat> going back to the questions. Okay, let's see what we have next. Okay, perfect date dinner and movie or dinner and walk on the beach. Hmm. If I had to choose between a perfect date dinner and a movie or a dinner and a walk on the beach, I would definitely choose dinner and a walk on the beach. I love seeing the sunset and just I I can't even like explain it to you guys how much I just love like sitting on the beach, relaxing, hearing the waves crash on the shore, the birds going by, seeing like all the pretty colors in the sunset. That's just my ideal. I mean, I feel like you can watch a movie at any time, and everything eventually comes out on DVD, and then you can just get that. <laughs> so, I mean, ideally perfect date would be a walk on the beach and dinner. If you have both on the beach, that would be wonderful. Okay, so hair down or hair up for Valentine's. Uh, definitely down with curls. I think curls are the most romantic, and I think that... No guy could ever... What is this? What is that? Oh. Oh. Okay. Sorry. I think every guy succumbs to curls. I love curls. I think they're just so romantic and so pretty. Um, and I guess that is all there is for the Valentine's Day tag. And I'm going to put some tags below of all my favorite gurus. And maybe one of them will do it. We'll keep our fingers crossed. And thanks so much for watching. And I'm sorry it's been forever since I've been on here. I love you all. And I'll see you next time. Bye.